Brother Sister Miller, what's going on? It's Brother Wisdom. Okay. <laughs> I got a couple of requests uh, saying that they want to know more about this antimatter. And it's, it's really not antimatter. It's what you call Christ energy. Okay. And like, you know, I always said, that's the Christ energy that is within our bodies. Okay. Um, but I'll keep it simple and say antimatter because a lot of us a lot of our people can understand you, but antimatter, you think of, you see antimatter, and the first thing you think of is when you go to movies like, um, for instance, um, what was that? Uh, Angels and Demons. When the professor or this orc woman who's a scientist or whatever, and they so called created the antimatter with the CERN uh, hydro collateral thing, and they use the CERN and their. And then they uh, created antimatter, and one of the criminal guys stole the uh, antimatter, uh, one of the one of the cells, the antimatter cells. And um, this is what this is the only time they ever created this so-called antimatter, which is Christ energy, is on the television. It's on the movies. Okay. Uh, with the CERN system, the the, the CERN uh, system itself, you know, they're trying to more so they want to create antimatter. They want to create a portal. And every time they uh, these work beings seem to have uh, went into this high energy, um, their scientists have ended up uh, dead. And if you ever notice, it's never any of us, it's never any of our people who are the scientists working with this uh, this energy because they already know, these orc beings already know that this energy belongs to us. So uh, this so-called antimatter, which is the Christ energy, cannot be created by the means of uh, artificial uh, um, instruments okay like I said before all right so um, as they go on to try to mimic something that's so powerful in us they are constantly putting themselves in a hole okay I mean and, and it's, 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 the, it's the raw truth they're they're putting themselves in a hole they 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 are uh, uh, literally um, digging their own uh, ditch and basically they're they're falling in it okay they, they the so-called antimatter is like I said it's, it's a Christ energy it is the energy of the cosmos it's the energy of creation it's the energy of life it's the energy of uh, of uh, of the planets it's the it's the this our sun what's in the middle of our sun what keeps it flowing like that in the in the middle of our sun is a giant uh uh, uh arc of what they call antimatter that makes the sun the core of our planet it's an antimatter all right deep inside of us is an antimatter so what happens is this antimatter when we are able to recreate it on the outside the same energy that's, that's that's inside of us when we are able to create it on the outside what will happen is that energy that's on the outside will mate up with that energy that's on the inside of us and it will cause our carbon all right our carbon bodies these these carbon bodies that we're in it will literally cause our carbon to transform into an energy which will give us that um, ability to uh, transform from this body to energy to matter you know it'll give us the ability to throw the energy all right so just like your Dragon Ball Z they were, what you know in the Dragon Ball Z when you see when you see uh, Goku and all the other characters on Dragon Ball Z which were the Saiyans when they uh, were in their uh, hyper form, they were filled with 
light energy, which they, which we call you know anti anti matter. Okay, so the importance of us going into this energy and this power is to bring us back to our original state of being. All right, without this uh, powerful instrument, we cannot move into the state of being that we're supposed to. This is why it's important that we dig, 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 you know? That's why, you know, I've been digging, I've been going into meditation, I say, okay, there's something, there's something, there's something. And then there goes the ascendant masters, they bring it to me, they say, antimatter. I say, antimatter? They said, antimatter. It's like, antimatter. And then the ascendant master said, the same antimatter that they're talking about on the shows, uh, the, the ascendant master says, this is the antimatter that's within you. This is the same energy that's within the melanin body. So there, these orc beings are trying to recreate something unnatural that is natural to us. Okay? So literally, they're trying to recreate us on the outside because they don't know how this is created on the inside. We're dark energy beings. We're extra extensions of the cosmos. So this energy, you, you, you know, I told you guys about how um, we were able to lift up in the air and float in the air or levitate in the air and the energy came between us and, and, the, and, the, and, the, uh, and, and the atmosphere and the, the, the energy will flow in between us. This was antimatter or this Christ energy. Okay, and it's 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 a it's an energy that's all throughout the cosmos. So inside of our bodies is literally cosmic dust. You know, all over us is cosmic dust. This cosmic dust flows all throughout our planet. All right, our planet. There's no dome over our planet because if there was a dome, then cosmic energy wouldn't be able to enter. If there was a dome, the heat of the sun wouldn't even be able to to heat our planet. Our planet is not inside of a dome or under a dome and it's not flat our planet is oblong it's the shape of a head okay it's the shape of a woman's head actually you know and they are poles so this so-called antimatter which is just this christ energy just just energy that's so bright that is blinding it is formed by nature, by the cosmos. And we being extra extensions of the cosmos, we have the ability to form it. It's just that now we have to uh, 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 get our minds together and say, okay, now, now, now how can we create this? You know, it's all about getting our minds together. Now, the thing about it is these orc beings, they don't want us to focus on this. They don't want us to focus on uh, uh, creating this energy they need us to focus on their pieces of paper their job positions the the the, the um government business you know who gives a fuck if trump donald trump wants to build a, a wall i can give a fuck you know fuck him and the rest of them goddamn motherfuckers who came from uh who invaded our planet all the fucking chitari fuck them all i don't give a damn so the thing about it is they need us to be uh infatuated with their fallacies so that they will so that so that I'm sorry not they will so that we uh, won't focus on who we are and how to get back in power all right so you know if you ever feel that sharp energy that that sharp uh, like lightning energy that just hits your head or hit your hand or hit your feet or whatever that's that so-called antimatter, that Christ, that Christ seems the antimatter. That means that your consciousness is so high that you are literally pulling in that energy from the cosmos, you know, and I feel it all the time. You're, you're pulling in that energy from the cosmos and bringing yourself in, 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 in balance with the nature of the cosmos. All right. So, you know, you might fight if it, it might feel like a shock, like lightning hitting your feet or lightning, you know, like a, a, a bolt of energy. This and you'll jump like, dang, you know, and you you know, it, it, it'll it'll hit you any given time. But it's all 
uh, created by your consciousness, which is your uh, which is your state of mind, how you think, how you operate, the things that you do, the things that you say. You know, this is this is what uh, 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 brings about the beginning of that transformation into the antimatter. So, so the whole part about the antimatter is is it is a it is a versatile energy that's from the cosmos that can spread all throughout all of us. So when, like I said, when we create it on the outside, which, you know, we'll be talking about uh, uh, creating this antimatter. We'll be talking about it. When we create it on the outside, all right? And even if we just, just get a spark, just get a, that's all we need is a spark. That, that will do something for us. So when our people, all of our people are in the presence of this energy, we automatically shift. And once we shift, we will begin building. We will, we will return back to our original state of mind. This is why these orc beings don't want us in the, in the, uh, uh, in the area of this energy because they know that once we tap into this energy, this, this antimatter energy, this most powerful energy known across the cosmos that they have never created, all right? Except for on the movies. They know once we tap into this, they're done. They know that they're done. They know that they're finished. They know that there is, there, there is no turning back. They know that they will have no defense against us. This is why, you know, they're they're you know, they got to constantly push out all the illusions to make us think that, you know, oh, this and this and this and this and this money and and oh, Donald Trump and and Putin and, you know, the, the Chinese president, whatever his name is. They need us to focus on this stuff. They need us to, to be infatuated with us so that we won't move into this powerful energy that belongs to us. OK, you feel me? So it's so I hope I, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. This antimatter. Is the energy that belongs to us. And because it's a part of the nature of the cosmos. It's a part of us because we're extra extensions of the cosmos. And because it's a part of us, we are the only ones who can recreate it which means that we have to manage our minds and we have to go into meditation and we have to go into our Akashic memories and find out how we built these structures because these structures were built with uh, uh, wood, copper, uh, zinc or uh, zinc or either silver, had crystals in it. We had uh, 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 points of magnetism in there. We had different frequencies going through. I mean, it was the, these these structures were powerful. And when it got to the very top, all the energies combined together would create this powerful energy at the very top, which was what these art beings call an antimatter, which is this is anti is against. It's against them. The, like I say, it's against the material that they were created from. They were created from silicone and sulfur, which means that they are positive energy beings. And this antimatter, this so-called antimatter, is a negative energy, which, you know, like I said before, when you put a positive wire and a negative wire together and you, you hit them together, what you get a little arc. Psst. All right. So this so what happens is is you're talking about an explosion. So they know that this energy that's within us will destroy them and will destroy them completely. So they will try everything that in, that's in their power to uh, uh, get us to 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 uh, keep us away from uh, going back into the very thing that created us from the beginning, that chaotic energy, which you call antimatter. All right, my people. So I hope I explained this. Um, kind of tired. Just got off of work. Um, but I hope I hope you got the gist of what I'm saying. But this antimatter, when 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 we get into when we get in the presence of it, that very energy on the outside 
connects to the very same energy that's on the inside of us and we will transform into light beings to hyper powerful energy beings and therefore we being light beings and full of this energy this so-called Christ I mean a so-called antimatter which is the Christ energy we are able to pass that energy into all of our other brothers and sisters and that's an instantaneous awakening and this is what these orc beings don't want because they know they have no defense against us all right they destroyed our towers last time before this time no more destruction even though we know that in the, in the sometime in the in the in the far future there's going to be a more volatile race of them and they're already being created we talked about that but right now it's time for us to recreate all right we'll be talking my brothers and sisters i gotta give me some rest but we'll be talking all right all power to the multi-shocker people melon peace to you all